much respect to these YouTubers. And for those people who didn't think I had any tips or tricks left to share, well, I think here's a pretty good one that can be useful for some really difficult to reach islands. So let's jump right into it. So what I wanted to talk about today was an, an advanced placement technique. So here you see I have a tiny little island on this bolt. And when I drag the tip of my support, I can't actually touch the part. For some reason, Chidu Box doesn't, I think it has to do with contact depth and the way the angles are, and it calculates that the little part you want, you can't touch it. So no matter how I move this up and down when I try to edit this support, if I zoom in really close and look, it's, there's a few pixels that would print still in the air, and obviously that's what we don't want. The reason, the whole reason I'm trying to put a support here is to prevent that. And I don't want free floating resin, cured resin in my tank, you know, puncturing my FEP or ruining my print or whatever. So sometimes you can do it. You see I'm dragging the bottom. Sometimes you drag the bottom far enough away or closer or whatever. You can change the angle and actually touch the part. Like here I made it touch the part I want it by dragging it. But sometimes you can't do that. Sometimes it supports in a part where you just can't move it because bases are touching. It doesn't let you move. So you can also do, and it's counterintuitive a little bit to what we think of 3D printing, is you can put it below the spot you want and take the ball and just raise it up and here you see you'd raise it up and you say okay that's that's normal there's nothing advanced about that but I wanted to show you today and it's not exactly applicable on these few pixels I'm trying to support but just give you the general idea because this does come up sometimes when I move the ball up it still doesn't touch what I need to support what you can actually do is move the ball you can go past horizontal okay here's horizontal and you say okay that that'll still print that's fine but what if it's you know, like I said, there are situations where you have to go below and then go even higher. And at first, people say, wait, I, I can't go above horizontal. How's my support going to print? But remember, the tip of the support is anchored by the rest of the print. So it's that's not printing in the air, obviously. It's touching the model. So you can move that ball up as high to any angle you want, although it's counterintuitive. As long as it's touching another part of the model below what you want to support, it will print up and then touch the support like it does here. So that's that's the advanced tip for today. Don't be afraid to move the ball above the parallel line to where the support's going. It will still print. It will still work. It will still support those islands. And like I said, sometimes, not exactly on this model, but this is a good way to illustrate it, there are times when the only way I can support a small island on a part of a model is to use this technique of moving the ball joint above the horizontal line where it's going to touch the model. Now again, if that part I'm trying to support is just free floating in the air, this technique will obviously not work because the support itself will be trying to print in the air. That's no good. This technique only works when another part of the model can support the lower tip of the support. So the support has to be touching another part of the model that will be printing. Then it can go up from that angle and it's fine. So hopefully uh, this helps you guys out. You learned something. Please like, please subscribe. Please check out my other instructional videos. Thanks a lot. Oh, and happy today's Thanksgiving. Happy Thanksgiving, everyone.